Hey guys, it's Admin from MyRepairSpace.com. I'm here today with a new feature uh, that I like to call iApp Pack. Um, now, the concept behind iApp Pack is collecting all your favorite Cydia sources and making it available on your personal MyRepoSpace source. So that way you only have to remember one source every time you jailbreak, uh, update, or restore. Um, now, what's great about iApp Pack is it's very easy to use. Uh, and you can add as many sources as you like. So you can go ahead and add uh, any source you like by clicking on this add button. It will reveal this little drop down and I'm gonna add one of my favorite source, uh, Zod double TD, and I'm gonna click add. Now if I only wanted this particular source in my app pack, I'll go ahead and click this pack button which just lit up. Um, now if I wanted more, I can go ahead, go ahead and add as many as I like. Um, and if I didn't want a particular source, I can go ahead and click this button here and click delete. It's that easy. Um, but what I want to draw attention to is this little heart on the side. Now if you click this, it'll show your favorites. As you can see, I don't have any favorites yet. Um, and if you've been on any MyRepoSpace profile recently, you would have noticed the sidebar has a couple more buttons. I'm going to go into Initial D's profile. Now, Initial D, uh, it's currently online, um, and as you can see, uh, there's a couple of buttons down here. So, Favorites, RSS Feed, Share on Facebook, Tweet, and Share. Now, the Share button's great because uh, it collects all your recently bookmarked and social network sites, and it shows it to you. Um, but what I'm going to focus on is Favorite. So, if you go ahead and click Favorite, um, it takes a couple seconds, and bam, they're in your Favorites. Um, I'm going into a couple of other sources just to demonstrate um, and I'm going to click refresh sources back in iAppPack. pack now as you can see these are all my favorite sources and if I want to add them into my app pack I just click on them it's as easy as that now um, the concept behind this is that a lot of people add a lot of different my repo space sources because uh, a lot of people have good packages um, however, to add a source on Cydia, it's pretty time consuming waiting for it to get refreshed. So rather than going uh, and adding each source as you come along it, to, as you come along to it, uh, you click on favorites and then when you come and make an iApp pack, um, you add all your favorites uh, and then you can go ahead and download them straight from your Cydia repo and that way it gets refreshed in one big hit. It makes it a lot faster and a lot easier. Another great feature is um, sharing sources with your followers or your repo users. Um, for instance, if you have a really great uh, Cydia source that, or Cydia sources that they you know, should be looking into, you can go ahead and add it. Now, all I have to do is click pack and it'll ask me to name the app pack. So, MRS sources. Oops, uh, and it tells me to describe my ad pack in a few in a few words. Um, awesome sources, and as you can see, the packing up, cool, and it's just like iDeb, um, very simple. You can either download it or send it straight to Cydia. Um, in this particular case, I'm going to send it straight to Cydia. It takes a couple of seconds, so it's really great, um, and I can go ahead and download it straight from Cydia now. Okay, I've just refreshed my Cydia um, source. I've sent, as you can see, the package to Cydia um, and it's come up as new. So click that. And as you can see, it's just downloaded. Um, and these are the sources that are included. Um, so it'll come up with a list of all the sources um, that are included on your source. Um, this is a great way to make sure that you're not adding anything malicious as well. So before you uh, go ahead and add an app pack, make sure you check all the sources that you're going to add. Um, now you can just click install, confirm, takes a second, um, it's really quick. Now as you can see it's already installed setting up and what it's doing now is it's actually downloading each release and each package, um, each package from each source. So as you can see, it's, it's a lot faster. Um, and 
it's already done, it's just reloading its data. So it's a lot faster than going ahead and adding all the sources one by one, especially because there are so many MyRepos based sources, which is just so good that you have to add. Um, so now if we click to return Cydia, and we jump into our manage area and sources. Now you will notice that the entered by user uh, only has uh, what you've actually entered but if you go down here as you can see that now the three sources that I've chosen they're actually installed by package um, now it's a little inconvenient because you can't go ahead and delete um, these packages one by one uh, however if you uninstall the package your from your iApp pack it uninstalls all these sources so uh, if you have a particular category like uh, you know, good Game Boy Advance emulator package or sources um, and you've got a category it's really convenient in that sense so you can install them all in one hit and if you don't want them anymore you can uninstall them in one hit so this is just um, a new kind of uh, way of thinking about how to manage your city of sources um, and it's really fast and really easy now um, anyone can beta test this um, it is currently open for beta testing um, it may be a little buggy I haven't tested it that well so um, anyone who comes across a bug or any suggestions etc uh, please 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 um, talk to me let me know either by commenting on this video, commenting on the blog, or sending me an email, um, I'm always available to talk. So that's it from me, the link is down below in the description or in the blog, um, give it a try, let me know how you go. See you guys.